it's been longer since you've used this weapon than it has been <laughs> since the launch of D2 to getting this weapon. Oh, f- Okay, all right. Gonna be real with you. Wasn't planning on making a vault cleaning video, but I saw Dado was online in the server that we all have as content creators that are directly linked with Bungie employees. That's where we conspire to ruin the game. And I just said, hey, you free? You wanna do a vault cleaning, another vault cleaning video? And he said, sure, why not? Might be interesting to do a PVP person's vault thing. Listen, you know the drill with these videos. I'm not gonna spend too much time waffling about what's gonna happen in this video. You know what's gonna happen in this video. So sit back and enjoy. Before we get started though, I do have to mention the Patreon that we have recently launched. After much demand, I have started this Patreon. And again, like this video, you all know the drill by now with Patreon, but if you don't, it's a platform where you can support your favorite creators in exchange for various benefits. The Patreon will be the exclusive home of behind the scenes content, as well as early access to select videos here on the channel, like this one that went live a day early on the Patreon. I'm also offering Crucible coaching courses where I can absolutely guarantee that under my direct tutelage, you will become a better player. So if you like my content and you wish to support my endeavors, head to the link in the description below. You have my utmost gratitude. Now, let's get on with it. As I understand it, you are uh, you have become some somewhat of a sensei. <laughs> for uh, yeah, you know the 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 leader of the movement, I guess. Yes. I, I don't know why it took off, but here we are. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Look, I'm just happy you said yes. I just, I was bored, and I thought, hey, what? Let's see what Dado's up to. And thank you for, thank you for agreeing to that, and thank you for giving sure. us your time. I'm gonna pr- preface this real quick by saying I'm a PvP player, and mm-hmm. so a lot of the stuff that I have in my vault is very PvP oriented, and okay. the stuff I have kept and hoarded over the years has, you know. There's some sentimental stuff, obviously, um, but there's also some stuff that I used once or twice in the GM, and I thought it was really, really good. Um, and then there's some stuff that I don't know what to do with, so I call upon you, Mr. Travel, to uh, help uh, manage this and also roast the okay. ever-living hell out of me. Yeah, I, that's, that's part of the reason I was like a little surprised. I was like, you're a PvP guy. You're going to know more than I ever <laughs> will. Um, but... Would you say that there's something uh, core that you want to take a look at? Like, what do you have like a core issue, or is it just like, like, do you have a certain number that you want to get to? Like, how much are we clearing? Is this like, I want to get like 20 spaces, or is this like, I want this thing to be empty? I want to be more ruthless about it. I want to be, let's see if we can get it down to 400. Because there's, okay, the, this is going to be pretty aggressive because I'm, you know, as, as sentimental as I am as a player of Destiny 2, I'm not necessarily you know, so attached to things that they become like shackles. Because uh-huh. we're, we're coming into Witch Queen, coming into a new expansion, New Year of Destiny. There's going to be so much stuff to chase. And I right. think having 450 slots is not going to be enough. Minimum okay. 400. So just to put that into context, one row on every page is getting deleted if you want to hit to 400. Just to, just to like visualize it. Yep. You know, in case you're just like, oh my God, actually... <laughs> Um, okay, so the easiest thing IMO to start with are sunset guns, um, because, okay. I mean, at least on the PvE side, it's it's a lot easier. On the PvP side, obviously, it's a lot more difficult, because things in quick play are still very useful. Right. Um, but uh, specifically on the sunset side, that would be um, sunset, like, pinnacle weapons, uh, and ritual okay. weapons. So, yeah. like for example, that breakneck right in the middle. Yeah. Um, thirteen hundred kills. You can pull this right out of the vault again yeah. if you really want to. Thirteen hundred kills is not really a lot. No. That's like for me, easy delete. I agree. That's uh, like I-, I love using it, but it's not a huge deal to me. Otherwise, uh, let's take a look at uh, top right. Is that a bygones? It is a bygones. I love it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Um. <laughs> I have to so, do it. I have to do it. When when was the last time you used it? You're not my dad. No, I'm kidding. Uh so I think I used it maybe a year after Forsaken was Shadow Keep. Shadow Keep. I used it in Shadow Keep. The last time you used it was Shadow Keep. Yeah. Shadow Keep like launch. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's two years. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's two years since you've touched it. Now, again, good roll. Yes. Good gun. Yes. Totally get it. It's been two years since you've touched it. And you're on PvE kill tracker. So it, the last time you, you either didn't care about your PvP kills or you used it in PvE last. Now, mm. I get it. This is also a gun mm. that you can't really, you know, easily acquire again. There's nothing else out there like this right now, right? Like this yeah. maybe the third what's the what's the Varix one, the three ninety hailing confusion, I think it is. Uh I forget. I those are those might as well all be like the same weapon. That's true, to that's me. true. I just I don't even I'm, I don't know anybody who even touches them. Yeah. Okay. We the only logic for keeping this is that there was nothing remotely similar that's come out like this, but also I can't use this in literally anything other than PvP. And in PvP, it's just kind of okay. Oh, this is going to suck, but I, I love this weapon. But okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, and guess what? That no. being willing to delete that one no. means everything else is going to be that much easier. Oh, no, no, no. no, um, no. Uh, this is another one. You want to get rid of this one? Yeah, I should get rid of this one. 86 kills on it? That's yeah. not a lot. No, Wasteland is out, so I'm, I'm okay with that. So it's fine. Okay. Um, what about, I don't know what that is on the third, uh, or uh, sorry, second row there on the, uh, in the third column. I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, okay. I'm Dust gonna, rug okay. blues. I'm going to okay. say no to that one. That okay. one's supremely sentimental. That's still, it Fine. still does a job, but also Fractithus is better in every way. But this is the, this is the weapon I got good with. This is season four vibes. So I'm going to keep enough. Keep one. it. Yeah. Um, all the way on the right. Is that an? Atalanta or yes, an Antiope? Is. Yes, that can probably go. Zen moment kill clip with 27 kills. Yep. Not master Bye -bye. Goodbye. Okay. I'm mainly looking for sunset stuff. So you have some more pinnacles in the middle row there. Yes. Um, mountaintop. 229 kills. Not a ton. Okay. Keeping it for PvE, <laughs> yes. you know, kill <laughs> counter. I totally understand that. Also for trolling um, iconic in, in weapon. 1v1s. Trolling in 1v1s. Yeah. yeah. Totally iconic yeah. weapon. Totally fine. Um, that crim hang on, let's go back to that criminal's dagger. It's okay. Like, for me, the, the lack of handling really, really affects this weapon. I okay. don't mind the way it handles, but I'm not exactly reaching for a 120 too often these days. It's a different option. If I wanted to, it, like, if I was going to use a 120, it might be in PvE if I wanted a high damage burst thing. But, uh, okay. then I also, also have Igneous Hammer for that, so I'm not too, uh, yeah. attached to it. Like, if you wanted to keep a 120 in the kinetic slot and a 120 in the energy slot for PvP purposes, I'd say that's totally fine, just because you never know, like, what is going to sure. be the meta special weapon or whatever. Mm. Um, so this is one where I would take inventory of all the 120 kinetic hand cannons that you have mm. and be like, okay, what are we keeping and what are we getting rid of? And because, like, I mean, me personally... You know, you probably understand the nuances uh, yeah. a lot more of of 120 RPM hand cannons than sure. the average person. So, you know, for you, it's going to be a, a much more selective pick. But for most other people, I'm willing to bet that they do not either understand or appreciate the nuances that you do because they are so slight and so specific that unless you're specifically hunting and mm. testing for them, right. you're never going to know. So my my uh, lean, my, my thought is to, to delete Criminal's Dagger. Even though it's snapshot okay. opening, opening, I love snapshot to circumvent the handling uh, difficulties that 120s face. Mm -hmm. The opening shot thing is a little bit wasted on a 120 because it already has incredible range. Yes, it might right. push it to 40 meters, but... You know, it's 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 not the be all end all. Whereas with Loud Lullaby here, I've slide shot Eye of the Storm, one of the best rolls you can get. You're kind of stuck with the bad handling, but slide shot does help you reload it quicker. Eye of the Storm is just fantastic. If you get so much as a, a little bit of a you know slight push from from somebody else, it'll proc it, and and it mm -hmm. suddenly becomes really really hard to to miss with Eye of the Storm. So I think between the two of these, bye bye Criminal's Dagger. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I, I, Eye of the Storm is one of those very tricky perks where, like, if you really understand yeah. 
uh, how it works and how well it can work, then you can take advantage of it. Mm. For 99% of people, I say Probably basically not, yeah. instantly delete anything with Eye of the Storm on it because you're not going to recognize its benefits and you're not going to appreciate its benefits in moment to moment gameplay because like you just don't have that level of experience no, to, to really see what's going on that, that's true and uh let the internet know that dado hates eye of the storm i don't like it okay <laughs> um, um here's a controversial one i'm ready to okay. delete this one if you're ready then i'm not gonna try to make any other arguments okay the point is to get rid of things, not to save them. Fair enough. I'm, I'm ready to say goodbye. Sorry, Benji. Sorry, everybody else. But I mean, like, Ice Luna's out now, so it's it's done. Thank you. Okay. There Good you matters. go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to try to convince you to save something. The okay. whole point is you want to get rid of 10 items per page. Yeah. So we got our work cut out for us. So, that Randy's 71 kills. Is that a PvE hold that's, for the kill counter? No, that's just sentimental. There's no reason to keep it. It's, I mean, Servant Leader does similar things but nothing sounds as good i can pull it from collections i know what you're gonna say it's gone yeah if this had a thousand kills on it i'd say okay but yeah. it was 71 like yeah. whoop de doo true um breach light this looks like a pve roll to me i understand it's it a very good gun at the time um and i hate sidearms <laughs> uh not a ton of kills on it so this is uh, this is a judgment call for you uh for me i would i would probably get rid of it but again it's up to you it's again it's like pve you need you need to have it not power cap to be useful and right you now i'm gonna say thank you for the memories uh have a lovely life there you oh go. that was painful that was more painful than i thought it would be oh i love that weapon Shit. and i mean but when was the, again when was the last time you used yeah, it yeah it's season of dawn it's 1100 yeah it was, it was yeah. only season of dawn basically okay um seven seraph i i do not like seven seraph weapons in pve the only reason i keep them is specifically to proc war mine cells they're yeah. not great right now so if you want to keep a couple of guns totally understand no, um no, I'm not if a it huge... wasn't a, if it wasn't attached to war mine cells i'd be like the the seven seraph series is the easiest set to delete okay. like of all time okay so that's gone now i found this quite useful in gms when i was using it but i haven't actually used it in quite some time i can tell <laughs> yeah um i don't know if i should hang on to this one i'm, I'm really not sure but i think because there's there's also the uh survivor's epitaph which is the crucible 180 which has better stats across the board the only thing that's going for mm -hmm. this one is that you can proc war mine cells right and, you know, I, I, I do anticipate that Warmind Cells will get a little bit of love sometime in the near future. Right. Um, so maybe keep but this one? Y you could, but like 180s in PvE are just, they're just so dog. weak they're dog. in terms of, like, this is, this is a champion stunning weapon and that's all it can do. Yeah. It's, it's the only thing it can do because it's going to take a bajillion shots to kill anything else. True. Um... True. So that that's what this this is for. And if we start to enter an era where we're not having these crazy mods, you know, particle breach and clear, that means we're gonna eventually need to go back to using some level of primary weapons to kill things. Yeah. And this thing does like one eighties in general don't kill things. They just really don't. Okay. Um, so again, it would be a keep for. It would be a keep for Warmind Cells. That's the only reason I would keep it. Even with, like, I know people love Time Payload and the, oh, Time Payload, yeah. Explosive, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not wild about it. You can do GMs without it. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's Ciao. everything I got on that. Cool. Okay. Easy done. Now, I have a couple of... Uh, I have a couple of snipers up here, Long Shadow. I was using okay. this in the Deepstone Crypt Raid, and I found it very, very useful uh in contest mode and specifically i just wonder okay. if there is a utility to keep 90 rpm snipers adaptive snipers for uh raid races because they do a significant amount of dps as a legendary option yeah um let me check my spreadsheet because like right now with like the raid coming up you know we, we don't really know what's going to be meta next season until sure. we know the seasonal mods until we know buffs and this and that um, like we just, we don't know. Hmm. Um, so yeah, like adaptives are pretty good. Um, I know uh, my team leads 
leans more towards rapid fires for the higher DPS as opposed sure. to the higher total damage. Right. Um, so, like, it's... It's not the worst idea to keep, um, but if it's revealed that snipers are like not really that great, uh, this would be a, a future delete if you didn't have any other kinetic, right. you know, sniper to to work with. Right. I'm probably sh I should probably delete this one because it's it's just not the best feeling thing in in the Crucible. Very rare roll though. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This one's this one's a it's a, this is another most of the time my my counterpoint is going to come down to if you already have something that you like using yeah. and this is just sitting in the vault why do you have it Yeah it's true this is this is my crucible yeah. sniper for sure this I've sold Yeah okay. and it's also a 90 that thing's yeah. a 90 if you like that one more it's masterwork is a ton of kills that yeah. one's not masterwork it doesn't even have a kill tracker on it so clearly you don't love it Yeah you know, easy, easy ditch. True. Okay. We are already at 485. We are nice. motoring along. Um, I'm just going to delete this one. I think snapshot opening is better than snap moving. Um, do we have hope for scout rifles at all? Um, I mean, there, there's plenty of good scouts out there, which makes me feel like I'm not really in a huge hurry to get money more of them like servant leader is going to be probably pretty popping yeah. um night watch is still going to be popping and i'm not a huge stickler for rpm on a scout mm. uh like i don't need to have a 150 and a 180 and a 260 and a 200 right. for me it's just best available option sure for i need a scout rifle because it's anti-barrier scout okay. that's it this could do so i'm not a stickler so this can do a job in both then if i bring it up to power because it's got vorpal weapon um, quite quite handy to shut down supers as well in the Crucible when you get the opportunity, but it's like completely outclassed by DMT at the same time, even mm -hmm. though it takes up an exotic slot. I want to keep this one. Um, probably don't want to keep this one though. Yeah. Oh no. Why did I I'm not wild about it. Oh, why did I keep that one? It's twelve fifty. Yeah. That's the that's the first thing I look for. What power level is it? Because even if you don't need to level it, most people level things. Because it's so easy. True. Right? True. Even the thirteen twenty. It's yeah. so easy. I've got um a couple of builds in mind with all three of these dyers, so I'm not going to touch them for now. But okay. I am a little I want to get your opinion on some of these uh true prophecies. Now this was my okay. this one was my day one Deepstone Crypt. Uh, true prophecy, and I still use this one pretty much anytime there's high level content. Overflow okay. rampage. I have field prep rampage, which might be good for pot shutting from afar in a GM potentially. But then mm -hmm. you also have overflow, which kind of allows you to do the same thing. Then I picked this up because it was one of those uh, hostage situations, um, range right. finder time payload, and I can't think of a. I, I'm not sh I'm not keen on field prep rampage, but between these two, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, the reason I so I actually like reload perks over something like overflow because y you're not really running over that many bricks in high level content. True. Um, and so like you're not really feeling the effects of of overflow as much as you could be feeling the effects of field prep. The okay. only problem with field prep is that you need to make sure you're crouched. Otherwise you get no benefit. And in yeah. the heat of battle, that can be tough to like think of mm -hmm. in, in the moment. Um, which is why I tend to sway more towards field prep for special and power weapons, because it's a little bit easier to remember, you know, field sure. prep on a linear fusion than it is on a hand cannon. I mean, um, I am a dirty Stompies user. We do nothing mm -hmm. but slide, so it should be okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if you stay crouched, like, you know, I, I think, or if you have the the capacity to remember that you have field prep yeah. to crouch and, and reload, um, then, you know, that's really good. Sure. And I would like it more than overflow, but I think this is a toss-up purely based on uh you know how you how you like to play you clearly enjoy the overflow one very much yeah do i think it's worth switching over to field prep especially when you don't even really get the bonus ammo reserves because primaries have infinite ammo now that's another reason why i like field prep on specials and power weapons over primaries 
Um, so I don't think you need to to spend all this time, you know, remaster working a gun when you clearly like that one. Sure. So, and as, especially, you just said you're not keen on it. You have this other one that you like using for mm. basically everything. Why? Why bother? Okay. But still worth keeping because of the benefits you did describe. At the same time, I could learn this, and then if I learn mm. this. It could be more useful than overflow. It could be. Uh, yes, uh, because I think I think you reload much more often than you walk over an ammo brick. Okay, so then I'll keep that. And what do you think about rangefinder time payload on a on a troop prophecy? Um, if for PvE for PVE purposes, it's kind of the same thing as like the the one eighties. Um, obviously, one twenties are a, a lot stronger. Mm. I've I've just never been like super crazy on the timed payload because it's for stunning overload champions. I don't have a huge problem stunning overload champions. It's not something that confuses me or angers sure. me or anything like that. Maybe. You know, on the rare times where we do have overload hand cannon. Like, it's not the biggest deal where it's a complete game changer where I'm just like, oh my god, if only I had a <laughs> true prophecy timed payload, this would this GM would yeah. be the easiest thing. But for other people, it's a challenge, right? So it, it all depends on an individual level sure. how challenging it is for you to stun a champion. For right. me, it's stupid easy. For you, I imagine it's pretty effing easy. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm like, I'm I'm not crazy about you know, needing something like timed payload. Yeah. And honestly, I'd probably just be using my fate bringer, which has explosive payload frenzy for all of the other times where I'm using a primary weapon. Yeah, absolutely. And I was just gonna say, like, again, it, it comes down to that thing is does a true prophecy really need range finder? That, that depends on you and who, who you are and how you like to play in PVE. Maybe if you really want to not use a bow um, mm -hmm. in PVP, Personally, I don't think it does, but that's, you know, everybody has a different opinion on that. But between right. these three, I think, you know, this is probably the weakest one. I would, uh, I would agree. Okay. This one stays. That's very good. That's fine. Yeah, that's uh, fine. That's good. That's fine. This one's weird. It's a little weird. I had a lot of fun with it. And dual loader okay. does, does reload faster than normal reload which is good probably not faster right. than than field prep um the perks on this aren't like super great as a, as a perk package overall mm -hmm. but aside from chaperone this might be one of the best kinetic slugs so keep it mm, okay it's fine that that would be a, that would be an instance of like okay let me take a look at all the kinetic slug shotguns i have right and let me just make a call got it this one and this one. Never use okay. this one. We have, I was going to say, we have one with 1,018 <laughs> kills on it and one with zero. But the thing, our reason I, <laughs> the reason I like this one is because you do get Iron Grip, which gives you great amount of stability that you really do notice. And the mm -hmm. trade-off is obviously the cost of reload speed, but that is circumvented by Outlaw. Now, the thing I don't know right. is if Outlaw gives a flat bonus buff or if it's a percentage bonus. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Okay, but it was it was a good um, idea in theory, but then I never used it, so I probably should. I was, I was going to say like, so you claim that you like it, and yet we're at zero. Now you could have masterworked this after using it a whole bunch, and you know you use it a lot, and you're like, oh, actually, sure. you know, I kind of like it, and then but then you masterworked it, and then you threw it in the vault and there never was, touched it again. There wasn't there was an attempt to like it. There was an attempt yeah. to to do something with it and never got around to it. Okay. No, I know how stupid I look now, so that's 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 gone. There you go. Okay, so Hailing Confusion, this is the one. And this was the first pulse that I got from Beyond Light campaign. Used uh -huh. it a bit in Deepstone Crypt. Not particularly attached to it. Yeah, I'm I'm not crazy about Wellspring either. Uh this is a nut sidearm, keeping that one. Okay, this one. Great roll. Great roll. Like fantastic roll that I've never used. Mm-hmm. Alright, so get rid of it. There's no mm. no issue getting rid of god roll weapons that you don't use. I got I get them all the time. I get them all the time. True. And I just I just get rid of it. Even if you know what? Even if I don't have one, you know, I just say like I got one in the vault. That's it. If okay. you're scared of viewers being like, I can't believe you deleted that. I got another one in the vault. Yeah, I got sure. one. No, I do not have another one of these in the vault. But you know, my my viewers are well conditioned to understand that when it comes to PVE weapons, I don't care. So. Mm -hmm. 
Bye. Yeah. And uh, you know, for higher level content, I'm not like crazy about subsistence rampage just because it's it's a lot harder to proc those things. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. A lot of good messengers here. Very, very good messengers. I have a couple of desperate. So this is obviously one of the best roles you can get. It just doesn't mm. have our head break. I think I saved this one because yeah. of the shader. And then they never said you could get that shader to, to drop when you dismantle. Um, so that's the only rapid head desperado I have. This one is a far superior role just because appended mag, arrowhead, handling, like kind of ticks a lot of the boxes here for desperado. Okay. Play. Outlaw kill clip. I think I could probably delete this one because it's, uh, well, this 1330, maybe you should keep that for infusion fuel for something. Um, yeah. maybe infuse these two. Let's see. Uh, but, uh, okay. my main messenger is a moving target desperate, uh, moving target kill clip. So that's uh that's all fine okay so due to the rarity of this gun and like how good desperado can be like i'll let it slide but if i ever heard someone say um yeah i really like these roles like i like this blah, blah, blah. oh but then i also have this one that is the only one that i use i'd be like <laughs> so why do you have all of the other ones oh shit no no you're right you're right right now again it's Rare gun, comes from Trials, Desperado, very rare perk. This one I let slide, but if this was on, like, you know, a gunsmith weapon... Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Now I'd be like, uh, excuse me? Get <laughs> rid of everything else then. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Not wrong. Okay. Rapid Fires. This one was a recent uh, experiment, so I'm not going to delete that. I've been actually playing with that just the last, last couple of days. Okay. This multi mac, oh boy! Clearly, you love it. I'm not gonna make you delete it. No, I, I don't want to delete it because I don't have the quote unquote god roll yet. So, I'll keep mm -hmm. that. All right, All right, page two. We're at 478. So this is the other god roll, but like, uh, it's mm -hmm. like I don't like it as much, but I know it's better. Right. I think this one just needs a little bit more time. Um, okay, and again, that's another gun that it because it's so rare. I'm not gonna. I ease up on the pressure to delete it because you can only get it once a month and then you have to get it from packages yeah. which are just super rare. I've sure. got I I turned in like 40 packages once. I think I got one. Yeah. So, I'm not, I'm never going to make people delete those super super tough items. Fair enough. Okay, two DMTs. This fine. one they're both fine. This one is less fine. I'm going to just delete them. Spa uh, All right. Save a space. Moving target doesn't really need moving targets. Got crazy aim assist as is. Got a couple of these ignition codes here. And okay. definitely need your advice on what to go for here. Yeah. So in, in my opinion like now that now that we have Arbalest, like we have a clear front runner for high level content because mm. Arbalest is just, I mean, at least this season, like it's by far the best weapon choice yes. uh, in the in the connect slot. What that'll look like going into the future, I don't know, but it's still going to be a very very strong selection going into the future. IMO with blinding grenade launchers probably uh, taking second place, mm. um, just because there are so few amount of guns in the kinetic slot that I think are really powerful in. GM level content, like the next option you really have are like snipers. Right. Um, now with, you know, if we have a season without these crazy damage mods or whatever, you're going to start to see probably a lot, uh, like a few more snipers. Yeah. You might see more ignition codes. So I like to keep a, a blinding GL uh, in, in the kinetic slot for sure. Just to have one. I'm, I'm not crazy about it personally. Like I don't, I don't really use one. And usually when, I have someone asking me, I'm like, go with a sniper. Like, I, I almost, like, disregard mm. them, even though they're very good. Mm. So that blinding field prep Vorpa one, like, it's pretty solid overall yeah. um, of the two that you have. What was the first one again? Slide shot thresh, and that's literally just for the, the meme value of just being able to slide, reload, right. shoot immediately. Yeah, so I, I had one of them, and, like, it was a cool novelty, but in practice, I, I didn't really yeah. use it, like, at all. It's good for um, override. So yeah, it's like it's a fun meme thing, but if if you're not really using it, like it was it was a fun thing in the moment, but it, it's like it's not meta. Yeah. And I don't really know people who are using it. So True. Yeah. Two sidearms here. 
Don't yeah, use, I'm just going to preface this don't use by saying I hate sidearms. Okay. I don't like them at all. <laughs> Every single sidearm to me is garbage. Okay. So um, I'm ruthless with sidearms. Okay. Have you done this with True Vanguard yet or no? No, I okay. haven't. Probably should not do it with them then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't, I don't care. I'll say it to anybody. <laughs> okay. Then I'll I'm... say it to anybody. I hate sidearms. I hate all sidearms equally. I don't care what perks you have. I don't care where it's from, what season. My grandmother gave it to me. Mm, mm, F all of them. Mm, mm, I don't like them. Well spoken. Uh, so to appease you, I shall delete both of them. Because I don't use them at all. And okay. that's mainly because I'm a PC player. Um, but they recently yeah. got buffed Damn. with the 30th uh, anniversary. So like they're now hit scan. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll give them a go. Like There's this p- crazy piece bond I have that I'm going to mm-hmm. play around with more. Uh, but yeah, generally speaking, for for unless it's like Drang, which is definitely a, a Sturm thing, right? So, which by the way, you can delete that one because you can pull it out of collections and it only has 500 kills on it. Oh, you're killing me. Okay, bang. All right, done. Now, what's your take on Fatebringer in specifically this role here? Love Fatebringer. Love okay. Fatebringer. This is a very interesting sort of uh, you know osmosis adrenaline junkie i see what you're going for here Mm -hmm. um if if you're a high level player i don't think it's the worst idea to have one or two osmosis weapons yep and the off chance that you come across a situation where osmosis is going to be useful um that being said the amount of times where i think it is uh essential to a loadout is basically zero outside of solo gm the stars right. align, we have, right. you know, anti-barrier, hand cam, whatever. <laughs> and all three shields, and you all three champion types, and blah, blah, blah. Still good good build potential, though, with, with Osmosis, generally. Very good build potential. Yeah. And I've heard that one billion times before. Of It's got great, great build potential. <laughs> Did you make the build? No. Have you played with the build? No. Are you enjoying the build? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, so it's fuck. all about are you willing to put the time into it now again if you only have like one or two osmosis guns we just keep it hmm. you know on the very off chance that like something happens and it's like oh my god if you have osmosis then you can do this crazy thing blah blah blah. it's fine to have you know one or two guns with osmosis i don't right. think that's a big deal um, but for all the people out there who say like yeah i kept this gun because i think you can make a really cool build with it it's like okay when did you get the gun last year have you made a build for it no no <laughs> Okay, well then I'm gonna slap you. So I only have two osmosis guns. One of them is a rapid fire sniper uh, yeah. with Firefly osmosis. This is the Praetor's Revenge, mm-hmm. and then I have this Fatebringer, and that's pretty much it. Like Traveler's Chosen, yeah, is Traveler's Chosen, but uh, that's it. I think keep, keeping one primary and one special is totally fine. Okay, perfect. Now moving on to these snipers, I'm probably gonna keep this one because it's osmosis, just good to have. Mm-hmm. This one's nuts in PvP, even though I'm bad with it. I know it's good, okay. and it's just an adjustment thing. This one, not sure about. This feels like a trash mob situation, not good in high-level stuff, not generally good anyways. If I was supremely bored and I had n- literally nothing to do, like there was a five-month-long season with no story development, maybe I tried out, but even then, that happened. Didn't feel compelled, so. I uh, completely agree. Uh, I don't like Firefly on a sniper whatsoever snipers are mainly for killing thick targets yes. they're not for killing little shit mobs okay um completely agree so i'm gonna anger everybody on my youtube channel and say i'm gonna delete this role this is a okay. rifled quick draw iron reach range masterwork tactical mag reese walker and the only okay. reason i'm deleting it is because i have a role that i already have that i like better and that's this one and it doesn't make any Perfect sense. Reasoning. Doesn't make much sense. Full choke, tack mag, slideways, swashbuckler. I just like it more. And here's why it know. makes sense: is because you like it more, and yeah. you think you perform better. Maybe you do perform better with this one. Um, if it's the one that you like, get rid of the other stuff. Literally, no problem with that whatsoever. And this okay. is what sh- people should be doing. Okay, but you see, now I'm gonna, you know, get angry comments in my comment section saying, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but. Well, cry about it. You know what? If someone else likes that gun, they can use it, have fun with it. You like this other one, and uh, you know, I, I could count. I couldn't count on my entire body how many times Bungie has said they want guns to be about feel. 
True. You know, they want guns to, they want people to use guns because they like the feel of them. Yes. And if you like the feel of that gun, you know, who's to say that, that you're wrong? Yep, that's true. Hung jury, I do, what, what do I do here? <laughs> don't know yeah, about that. I mean, yeah, explosive payload's always going to be great on the scout. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just like, there's a lot of competition in the scout rifle slot, which is sure. kind of sad because they're only really relevant whenever there's anti-barrier scout yes. in the game. Um, but it, it, it tends to come around pretty often. Uh, so yeah, this is another one. How many kinetic, uh, how many kinetic scout rifles do you have? Let's take inventory. Like, what do we got? Cause like subsistence explosives is great. So you got transfiguration, which is definitely PVP orient, PVP oriented opening shot rampage okay. scholar, which is PVP oriented jade mida dmt oh i have this night watch which is remarkable rapid hit explosive accurized corkscrew uh yeah and i use that for pretty much everything um okay but then you have this one which it's different it's it's different and that's it all. is the slightest bit different yeah um you know subsistence versus rapid hit i do like the consistency of rapid hit like mm. subsistence you have to kill something to make it work rapid right. hit you don't um and if you love using Nightwatch, uh, then I would say I, I would not have an issue seeing this one gone. But uh, it, it, this would come down to, you know, try out the Hung Jury, try out the Nightwatch next season. What do yeah. you like better? Whichever one you like better, you get rid of the other one. Okay, I'll keep that one then. Uh, this one's really good in PvP. These I'm two, not sure. I, I don't like the feel of them. But they perform decently. Um, this one can go. I, I, I saved this because I saw Walla using Adagio once, and I was like, oh, I'll try that. Then never got mm -hmm. around to it. Um, then this one, it's literally just headstone. That's why I kept it. Yeah. So for me, Volpecula died when Ias Luna was born. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's I don't actually like, very true. I don't yeah. like 180 RPM yeah. hand cannons at all. And headstone is actually incredible incredibly strong in a stasis build it's like literally the core i would yes. say of of any good stasis build so if you wanted to keep it because of that that's totally fine but if you yeah. ever found an is luna with headstone this would be a distant memory yeah 100 percent. i don't have an is luna with headstone so i think i'll just keep that around for now uh but the fine. minute i do yeah it's gone uh yep. two identical that one's rifled and then this one is full choke okay so that one's gone Bye bye. Uh, Easy. There's there's some emerging destiny signs coming around saying that full choke is by far and away more superior than rifled, uh, and that's okay. just as a result of the changes to shotguns that happened. When did that happen? That happened oh season of lost like back in September or something. So yeah, I I will defer to you okay. on on shotgun PvP stuff. I I've not used a shotgun in quite a long time. Uh, keeping this one because our head moving target adrenaline junkie could be interesting for certain builds. Sidearm. Um, I'll save you the trouble. Decent roll. I think it's it's okay to keep one sidearm <laughs> in case it's like the only in case like, of emergency. We had, like, we had one time where like I remember going back in a video and I was using a sidearm in a GM and I was like, why am I using? It? And I think it was because of a uh, I think it was like anti barrier sidearm, right, or something like that, right. That's the only reason I've ever needed a sidearm. True. True. Okay. Um, I kept this one around for, uh, PvE, actually, and okay. it's quite fun. Yeah, it's, shotguns in PvE are just so tough because you can't really use them reliably. No, you can't. You're right. Um, in, in high-level content, you know, I have, like, a one-two punch shotgun that I keep around for, uh, for a Titan build, but that's just kind of, like, for messing around. Mm. Uh, in, until Bungie is able to give us a situation where shotguns are not only viable but one of the top options in high level pve content mm. i really don't see many reasons to keep something around that like maybe doesn't even have trench barrel because trench barrel is like true. the shotgun perk right yeah. yeah um and like subsistence i think is a waste because like again shotguns are for killing big meaty targets not little shit -out targets um all right. That's so confused, yeah, then. it's just like I always struggle with shotguns because you can have the the best shotgun in the world, but if you're not running high level content, you could have any shotgun. It doesn't matter. That's true. You yeah. throw on your you throw on your PvP one. Like who cares? Yeah. True. 
Okay, I think that's all the all kinetics right. done. Um, okay. That one can probably go mm-hmm. immediately. Mm-hmm. That's mini. Bye bye. Um, couple of retolds. Not sure. Okay. Like like again, dual one two punch, which is more useful than dual loader surrounded. So yeah, I I don't like surround. I don't like perks that require yeah. you to be surrounded by enemies for yeah, in order for them to work. Because in in lesser content, it's like who cares? You'll you just punch everything to death. And in higher level content, if mm. you're surrounded, you're in trouble. You're like in real big trouble. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Nation of Beasts. Now I I think this was the first one forty energy that I liked. So I used it a lot in Forsaken. Uh, hence the kill count. But I haven't touched this in ages. I'm I'm right there with you. I also have the curated role. Uh, a lot of kills on it. Haven't touched it in a very long time. It's a it's a sentimental keep to me because it's you know it's like the first kind of like fate bringer of D two from mm. what I consider to be the best raid, and it's a curated gun, so it's a little more rare. Um, so I personally keep one for sentimental reasons. Sure. Um, but if you're not using yours and it's not sentimental to you, I don't think there's any shame in, there, in getting rid of it. There's also the argument, you know, arc hand cannon energy. Mm-hmm. That could yeah, I, I, you'd have to, I get, this would be like a, a take inventory. How mm-hmm. many arc energy, uh, arc, uh, hand cannons do you have? What do you like? I like blah, the blah, posterity, blah, you know, you can, but even then, like it's. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I'm the, I'm the other way. I don't even like I don't like posterity. I've never been able to make that gun work for me. But I also <laughs> don't like 180 RPM hand cannons at all. True. So. No, I think that's the only arc hand cannon I have. Just briefly going through all this, I have finite okay. impactor, but that's a PVP thing, and I want to keep that one. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's a good. So this, keep. So yeah, yeah. That, that that's a keep out of uh, just like keeping your options open because it's the only thing that you have. Sure. In of that archetype. Um, Tyranny of Heaven, Archers, or sorry, Arsenic Bite, both identical roles, different elements, fairly good, all things told. Yeah, bows, bows are very, very good GM weapons. I think it's a very smart idea to have one of each element, uh, yeah. in legendary form. I would definitely keep that Tyranny of Heaven because I'm pretty sure that's the only solar legendary bow that we have right now. Yes. Um, so I would 100% keep one of each element of each bow and then also having kinetic bow. Uh, okay. Until bows get dethroned, there's no reason to get rid of them. Okay. This one I'm going to tr- attempt to do with maybe some push from you because obviously these two weapons have a lot of history with anybody mm-hmm. who plays PvP. I'm sure you, know, you have your own history with them too when you were chasing them. And yep. it's like... I love the sentiment of them. I love what they used to be, but they haven't been what they what what we fell in love with for a very very long time, and right. they have next to no value in the current sandbox. So so they are they are purely sentimental. If you want to keep one, I'd say keep the not forgotten. Yeah. Um. But again, you can just pull these straight out of the collections if you don't really care about the kill count. Uh. No. No reason to uh. To See, hang the, on to the them. thing is, is like. Now you've got me in the in in the habit of just thinking about this logically, and you're thinking about this from like if you, if you really want to go to that level, you Marie Kondoing this whole thing, right? Does this spark That's what I'm joy? Trying. Yeah, does this spark joy? Right. The reality exactly. is neither of them do. Like not even. So then, why no, do we have them? Because they're a memory, and that's it. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with keeping those. There's nothing wrong with it. But if it doesn't, if you look at it and you're not just like, oh man, like remember that time? Like I did this crazy thing, trials, sure. if in one v three, whatever. Because now I want to delete both, but I think that would be insulting to the journey. So I think I'll just delete Luna's Hell. Yeah, I I, I would delete Luna's Hell and and keep not forgotten. Okay. Um. Oh, this can go. This is no good. I was going to say that. Why are you holding that one? <laughs> <laughs> I just liked it. Uh, this one I liked. Uh, this one is very strange, but I don't use it ever anymore. So that's gone. Yep. People uh, are people are very, very fond of the Black Armory yes. weapons. And I, I do think Bungie will eventually do something to, to bring them back to the world. Um so, but yeah, people are very sentimental about them, and I, I totally understand they were some of the best guns we've ever had. Uh, but yeah, like p- for PVE purposes, there's there's no reason to keep them. I want to draw attention to this one because this is actually a dead archetype. 
adaptive 900 SMGs. These are mm-hmm. hands down the best SMGs in Crucible. Like they are better than Multimac. And for that reason, just to really like send people for a loop, I keep this one. But again, it's it's power crap. It's, it's it doesn't doesn't have any value Look, anymore. You you came out and you're like, I'm keeping this one because X Y Z reasons. Yeah. The, 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 I'm not gonna argue with you. If okay. you give me a weak ass reason, I'll be like, all right, that's BS. <laughs> yeah. But you came out strong reasons. I'm not gonna say nothing. Let's move on. Next okay. one. Okay, recluse highest kill weapon stays. Uh, got annoying hunger. This one's pretty good in PvP, but I've not used it. I've used other annoying hungers with different. Uh, per combinations, but never these two at the same time. So at this point, okay. it's like I don't use it, but I don't have a lot of older rifles, so I keep this one because I know it's good, even though I haven't used it. This okay. one, not sure about. This R wings mole, quick draw demolitionist Ye- prox. Yeah, I'm I'm not wild about it. Um, grenade launchers right now are are sort of relegated to blinding grenade duty, mm. and. Um, I think Salvager Salvo is more yeah. than enough yeah. for the average person. It's like f- s- such a fantastic grenade launcher. Um, okay. So so bye bye. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not like I'm I'm not nothing's really pulling me to this. Okay. That Done. much. Okay, a uh, couple of two sides of the same coin. Loved rangefinder on this because it was deceptive. Has a huge magazine with flared magwell and backup mag and a couple of nice sights. This one I like a lot to use in Crucible. This one, I mean, kind of the same thing. So maybe I'll just delete this one. I was going to say, this one I'm going to delete because I like the other one better. So meme meme fusion. I haven't okay. used it since uh, Opulence, though. Yeah, so that was season seven. Yes. Then we're in season. So it's, it's been longer since you've used this weapon than it has been <laughs> since the launch of D2 to getting this weapon. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Gone. Oh, no, I like it, though. Thank you. All right. Then. No. Okay. I'm strong. Enough. Okay. I'm strong. I'm, I am strong. I am I'm Again, strong. You haven't used it since season seven. Yes. yes. Season seven. Yes. Yeah. Uh, really surprising PvP. Didn't master work it, just test drive it. So I want to keep that one, try a bit more. Okay. This one I got once, never used. Bye bye. Goodbye. Uh, also interesting in PvP, but last I used this weapon, the sights were broken. Like it didn't have a red dot. I don't know if they fixed that. Oh, okay. Um, again, not a whole lot of auto rifles in the inventory. Also, void, which is useful. Uh, point of the stag, I heard, is quite good in PvE now. Yes, uh, very, very good selection for PvE. Um, uh, I, I think I regularly use point of the stag, but I, I also think most bows in PVE are very replaceable Okay. and there are so many arc bows in the game hmm. that it's just best available option kind okay. of a pick. All right. I'll keep that around cause it is interesting. Uh, this one probably can go, I don't know why I kept it. Maybe threat detector vorpal was an interesting combo to me. Um, Autoloading Vorpal again, not really doing much in either game mode aside from the fact that it is a nice range roll, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But not. It, it, it would be a uh, yeah. It would be a you know shotguns have uh, have a mod this season kind of a right. kind of a deal. I, I always I always struggle so hard with with shotgun recommendations. It's it's so tough because it completely depends on the meta. It completely depends on the seasonal artifact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, Seven Seraph, Warmind Cells, blah, blah, yeah, blah. It's gone. Um, this one's got slide shot trends, so if I was going to keep any single one of them, it'd probably be this one. That's fine. Okay. Uh, again, one of those weird ones, because it does, like, it's a good slayer. It's a good ad clear weapon, but, like, who mm-hmm. cares? It's, not, it's an I, SMG at the I'm same not, time. I'm also not crazy about fourth times on SMGs. Like, it's, it's harder than people think to hit four crits in a row with a submachine gun, even in PVE. Yeah. You know, you have to be basically shooting a target with a giant head and it's not moving yeah, it's to get it to keep procking. So I'm, right. not, I'm not really that crazy about it. Gone. Um, good auto for PVP. Good auto for PVE. Good. Give them both. Okay. Totally fine. Uh, interesting. Don't know how to use it. Never tried. Just kept it because it was rare. Okay. Um, 
Well, I'd say unless you're planning on uh, making a video about it, uh, I would no. I'd say you could probably trash it. I really want to delete this just to trigger people, but I know I can just pull it at anybody. At, at yeah, that's fine. You can, you can at any time. Okay. Um, tried this out once, thought it was okay, not setting the world on fire. Wave okay. frame grenade launchers. Yeah. Hmm. I think they fixed it so like Rampage is actually working now, but... Deafening Whisper is for for me basically has one perk roll and it's ambitious assassin rampage. Yeah. Um, you do not have a bit ambitious assassin so rampage. So if you really want one, I would go find that one specifically. Otherwise, I'm not crazy yeah. um, about it at all. Keeping this, even though you don't like it, I think it's quite fun. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, I never really got it to work for me. Very good in Crucible, so I'm keeping that one. Uh, kept this around because it was a Void Scout. And I didn't have one. Yeah, either. very, very uh, uncommon archetype Void Scout. Uh, I would have to say I did see a Vouch Safe. So this yes. is basically just this versus your Vouch Safe. Oh, I take the Vouch okay, Safe so 100%. This I is... would take the Vouch Safe purely because of fourth times. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah, that's an easy pick. Adored is fine. Stars and Shadow. Dan never used it, never liked the sights. Gone. Get rid of it. Xenoclast. Again, kept this because it looked interesting, but never ended up using it. So that can Gun. go. Um, Bone Chiller was fun for a while, but never liked it enough to masterwork it, so that can go. Also, Surplus Dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, this one I kept for a potential test in PvP, but again, I'm not like... It's rare, that's the only thing, so maybe I'll keep it because it's yeah. rare. Um, this is bloody good fun. This mm -hmm. one is also bloody good fun. Very annoying when paired with the MT. Um, this one I use for PVE a lot, the blinding and yeah. slosh and feeding. It's decent, And it's right? got spike on it, so it has versatility. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I much prefer blinding grenades to be in the kinetic slot because you have, you, you just don't have a lot of yeah. options, but yeah. I don't think it's the worst idea to keep a blinding GL in this slot either. Okay. And truth teller is very good. Yeah. Um, used it a little bit in PVP, thought it was really, really good, didn't like it enough to masterwork it, so I don't know, maybe I'll revisit that one, I'll keep that one. Okay. Uh, don't know what to think about Death Adder. Because on one yeah, hand... Yeah, people... It, yeah, but, no, sorry, you, you, go, you go. Yeah, I was going to say, on one hand, like, it, they make sense, they're a good archetype, it's 900 uh, uh, lightweight, so you get the movement boost, but they don't hit very hard in PvE, and in PvP, they're very, very, very situational, uh just it's it's hard because this this particular gun is outclassed by shayuras so mm -hmm. i don't know this one's weird yeah i i've never you know i think some people really like death adder uh, but i i personally don't none of these e neither of these perk rolls really do anything for me and that's me kind of neither. the first thing i'm going to look at yeah um but yeah like i just i i'm not really a huge fan of it for for pve it would be purely because you needed a solar smg so yeah. in, in that aspect if you wanted to keep one fine um if you don't have any other solar smgs that can it can work taraba is a thing and it, it's just better in every way and like it, it, it is a thing but it also takes up your exotic slot sure. so that, that's definitely something to consider and i would not want to use my exotic slot on taraba right now unless taraba just became absolutely right effing bonkers counterpoint so, if they have an smg season they'd have an smg mod which means they'd probably do some balancing around smg so taraba would be worth the exotic slot then from a pure damage basis potentially yeah. potentially okay well then i'm deleting both because you can get them for prophecy at any time so all right. they're fairly easy to Fair find enough. uh they're <laughs> all okay <laughs> um all right just have danielle a... says hello hello danielle um so all of these were interesting at the time but i never used them so they're gone yeah i i just i'm not crazy about you know most Iklos, most seventh seraph weapons i'm i'm not I'm not crazy about them. Fair enough. This one is trench barrel. Is that worth keeping or no? Yeah, I, I, I still think it's fine. You know, there's always a chance. Like, look, it, this was one of the top guns for Last Wish for for a uh, for a time. Uh, so there, there's always a chance. Sure. Okay. There's always a chance, and I think it's okay to keep one. Okay. You know, this one was the uh, DPS role for Worlds First for uh, Deepstone Crypt. Okay. They were all doing double specials, so there's some utility in that, especially for power checked with contest mode. 
Uh, mm-hmm. This one was cool for a while, still kind of interesting. Might throw this around in Crucible a little bit. But again, it's like I'm still on the fence on a lot of these might use weapons. So mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to, you know, a um, might use situation could, in, could turn into a don't have to use this situation mm. if you don't have it. True, true. Okay, I have three masterworked Icolos SMGs, and I need to get rid of okay. one of them. So we have yeah. Dynamic Demo, Threat Detector Surrounded, and Dynamic Vorpal. <laughs> ah, uh, the, the surrounded again like, I'm, like i'm it. thinking high level pve yeah. threat detector means there's stuff near you generally speaking you don't really want a lot of things near you in in high level yeah. pve so because they are coming to melee you there's a decent chance they'll one shot melee you um it's just it's never really a great idea to to have that much invested into being in danger yeah it's true okay and threat detector is not something this gun particularly needs because it already has great handling anyways. So yeah. that can go. This one's... I got this roll and I kept it because I was getting wrecked by it in a super in PvP. Okay. So I, I wanted to keep this. And then this one kind of speaks for itself. It's it's a very good weapon all around. Uh, mm-hmm. Have the versatility with the different perks. And yeah, I kind of like it. Also, if I wanted to do PvP, I have to tap the trigger waiting yeah. for me there too. So. All right. Yeah, so, that's fine. Yeah, okay. this is one of the few Icolos Seven Seraph weapons that I think is is good. Sure. Okay, so keep that one. Keep Salvage Salvo, Sneak Bow, and Frenzy, or Archer's Temper and Smosh Buckler. Ooh, I'm I'm. How, can you hover over Sneak Bow? Just let me get a refresher. Sure. It's increased um, all time reload speed. Prevents radar. prevents radar pings. Okay, so that, that's pretty much a, a PVP. Related per, I I I would not put a lot of value on this for PVE. You can always just yeah unknock and then re-knock your 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 bow. At the same time, like swashbuckler is not the craziest thing, but it is at least a little bit better on a bow where you're much more likely mm. to go on like a kill chain. Yep. Um. So this would be. Uh, let's take a look at all your void bows and see what you're working with. And if you don't have anything better, I'd probably stick with the Archer's Tempo one. Okay, let's have a look. Is bow, Wolf Tone Draw, we have Imperial Needle. No, these are the only Void bows I have, aside from Luminarch. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, so, I, I mean, obviously, you definitely want a, a legendary option, just in case. Hmm. Um, yeah, like Frenzy's very good, but I, I think I'd probably go with, with the 1271 for PvE purposes. Okay, sounds good. Just infuse that, and then we'll be on our way. Cool. Yeah, if if, if only you could combine both of those for, like, Archer's Tempo Frenzy, that would be, like, be the you go-to. Know, if only we could, like, you know, combine or even, like, craft weapons. That'll be, that'll yeah. be great. Yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> uh, this was fun and chosen for a while, but I haven't used it since, so it's gone. Uh, I don't know anyone who uses a far future. Yeah. I, like, I don't even remember being killed by the gun ever. I think there was something like quick draw opening was was all the rage among sweat sweat crucible players, but that seems mm-hmm. to have fallen out of fashion too. Killing when rampage was good when this thing could two tap, not anymore. I like this one because it circumvents the handling debuffs. Quick draw snapshot again was sort of the same idea, but I haven't actually used it too much. It's also rare, okay. so I, uh, I don't know. Gotta keep. Oh, this one has high cal. Sorry, yeah, that's why I kept it. That's why. Okay. okay. Uh, threat detection. Yeah, I, I, it's totally fine to keep you know multiples of what can be considered some of the best weaponry in yeah. the game. I don't, I don't think that's a big deal. Okay. Um, threat detector rampage again. Sidearm, you don't like it. Mm-hmm. I'm not crazy about it. Again, this would be a keep just because you need to have a sidearm for yes. some sort of PvE purpose. Yes, so that's literally the only reason. And I think okay. this is actually a pretty decent PvP roll, so I'll keep that one. Um, okay. Now, you said you liked One for All, correct? I do like One for All, yes. Um, it's very easy to proc. Shadow Price, d- IMO does not have a lot of great perk rolls. Um, I do think you have one of the better ones. Let me see what I can get. I want to say you can also get like feeding frenzy or something like that, mm. but even then, um, I mean, this being a, a, I mean, not the slowest auto rifle, but relatively slow. 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the slightest bit more reasonable to be able to proc. Uh, fourth times, it does have feeding frenzy and also has overflow. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, overflow you know, one for all would be it, wouldn't it? Overflow one for all, or maybe feeding frenzy one for all. Yeah, fourth times is also like not the worst, but I'd mainly be keeping this for one for all. Okay. The other perks you can get are disruption break, thresh, swash, unrelenting, dragonfly, which IMO, none of those beat out one for all. Right. So then probably worth dismantling this one because the other one is just better in every way, and this is not necessarily a great weapon for PvP. Yeah, disruption breaks just so tough because. Like, th there was, like, a, a very short time where people were like, oh, my God, Disruption Break, holy yeah. shit, it's so good, it's so amazing, blah, blah, blah. But, again, I go back to high-level GM content. Sure. This is an arc auto, so you're only going to be killing arc shields. And outside of, like, a couple of strikes, there's not that many arc shields in the average strike, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you would, so you'd need anti-barrier auto rifle which we do have this season but guess what we also have arbalist now yes and the only reason people were using yeah. auto rifles was to blow up shields so that they, they could use their fusions to right. kill the targets right um all right so, so that's, that's, that's why i'm not really crazy about disruption break right okay. now okay that's gone then um couple of palindromes that i don't use overflow range finder and then eh. i have subsistence thresh thresh but then yeah. I also have two other palindromes that I use, which are better. One is Outlaw Rangefinder High Cal for PvP, and then I have uh, Rampage Bottomless Grief, and then there's another one here, which is Subsistence One for All. And Okay, so these two in your vault, I don't know why they're here. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> you have three, one on each character that you already like using, mm. and these you literally just said, I don't, I don't even like them that much. I'm like, okay. Okay, let me uh, let me t turn off the screen here so you don't see the four <laughs> frozen orbits just sitting here. Uh, okay, I mean these these are PvP weapons. They're not mm -hmm. particularly known for PVE. All of them are have been kept for one reason or the other. One reason or the other, and out of all the four of them, I think this one's the best role surplus snapshot. Even though ability regen got pretty badly nerfed in PvP. Uh, right. still, you know, it's nice to have that handling bonus when it's up. Moving target, opening shot, you know, I used this and I thought it was a bit, like, it wasn't changing my, my life or anything like that, and the lack of snapshot is pretty badly felt, but it's very hard to miss with this. Okay. Again, if you're a good sniper, if you, if you know the basics of sniping, you don't really need the training wheels of moving with target on specifically an aggressive frame sniper. So this one goes, and by training means wheels, I mean like the added 10 aim assist or whatever it is uh, for that. This one, I don't know why I kept that. That's going. I was going to say, Ambitious Assassin does not seem, <laughs> nor, does nor not. Triple Tap it no. seem like PvP perks. I think I kept them just because I didn't have a snapshot Frozen Orbit at the time. So, okay, okay so that's done. That's good. Well, easy. Three down. All right. A uh, couple of bottom dollars that I'm not neither of, um, i'm a big fan of so i think we can just get rid of them both okay all right uh trinary system thoughts uh yeah i'm not the, the craziest about it like if you had a good roll on it i i'd, I'd get it and like this one's you know obviously that's PvP a no. focused that's a no. i d <laughs> i just don't know like I, i'm not familiar with how backup plan is really working right now mm. um so I, I can't give, like, the best criticism just because I haven't gotten familiar with, like, sure. the new backup plan, quote-unquote. Right. Um, this has two kills on it. You don't seem crazy about it. No. We're under 430. We can do this. We haven't even got to the armor. There's, like, a bunch of yeah. stuff. But you know what? I'll, I can go through that another time because if we can just do this through weapons alone, I'll be very happy. Uh, armor, I'm, I'm just going to tell you the same thing I tell everybody else, is make a bunch of armor sets, put mm. those items to work, and then anything that's not in a set, get rid of it. And okay. then anything else that ever comes into your inventory ever again, delete it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, keeping this Cartesian pretty pretty nasty in PvP with high impact reserves. Okay. Uh, bunch of shotguns here. Don't know what to do with either of these. What did I do for this one? This is rifled, so I don't even want that one. Uh, this one is full choke with quick draw one for all. This PV e P roll ish, but one for all doesn't work in PVP. Yeah, so you just, just have it for quick draw. All right, yeah, so I think I think all of these can go oh, unless you want to like add clear with feeding frenzy and thrash. Yeah, I'm I'm not crazy about retro futurist. Okay, it's gone. 
I, for for PVE, I'd much rather have like the hardest hitting shotguns, uh, you know, or or the fastest firing ones. The the stuff that's in the middle, I'm kind of like. Eh. Mm. Okay, got a couple of interesting eternal blazons. I have a overflow mm. thresh, which is neither here nor there. Uh, rapid hit kill clip, uh, eternal brazen, which turns into a three tap monster in crucible. And then, mm -hmm. but obviously there's no scout map, so that makes it hard. But then rapid hit one for all, I thought would be quite good for PVE. Beauty. Yep. Okay. Beauty. So Love then, that role. Okay. Love it. First, I would I'd get rid of the first one for sure. Yeah. Uh, the, the second one, if you're mainly using it for, for PVP purposes, I leave that up to you. I did happen to notice that it only has seven kills on it, so clearly you're not using it that much. No, it's um, a, it's a map thing, really. If Vostok was around more often, it would definitely be a permanent fixture in my inventory. The maps are just mm -hmm. too compact for any kind of reasonable scout play. If you're going to use something, it'd probably be like Mida or, um, you know, something with 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 more to offer than just movement boost. So okay. for that reason. and I just really want to emphasize that you're saying that. Yes, yes, I am saying that. That, that that's all you. So for yeah. anyone else who might be watching, you're like, oh, keep my scout rifle for for PvP. You better be using that scout <laughs> rifle. That thing better have a thousand kills on it. Otherwise, you got no excuse. It's true. It's true. Okay, couple of grid skippers. Didn't really like this one. This can go really like this one so i want to keep that and i use that for pvp more than pve even though it has multi-kill clip um you know pulses and pve just don't seem very good right now because the, they're not <laughs> they're they're <laughs> not really that great right now uh i i do think we'll see pulses uh kind of come back to life yeah somewhat soon uh you know i'm hoping um so maybe worth like, keeping like grid that. skipper Grid Skipper was always like one or two perks away from being like a pretty good gun, but I mm. just don't think you can get like, you know, the rolls that you can get on some other guns. Like, let me see. Um, yeah, like first column, like there's no reload speed based yeah. perks at all. And then in the second column, like it's got some good stuff. Frenzy, uh, Adrenaline Junkie, maybe multi kill clip. Um, but yeah, just like I think the lack of a of a reload perk kind of puts this in like some weird purgatory. Also, I didn't remember I didn't remember loving the recoil, but D2 gunsmith right yeah. now is saying like basically ver like you need, vertical recoil. It, it, so it, it's vertical but it's really really bouncy, which is why people don't like it. And then it's got yeah. that weird thing that the iron banner pulse has as well where where the reticule strafes like it drifts off center. Yeah. So that's why yeah, people don't like. So for me, I I managed to like not be bothered by that as much. It's just for me, I'm just wondering if you know if pulses get a buff. I think this might be a very interesting role for ad clearing purposes for uh, strikes and general stuff. In high level stuff, um, I don't see it being a contender though. Yeah, um, this is this can be a wait and see until season sixteen kind of a play. You know, we'll see if they do anything to pulses. Sure, sure. We'll see if they. Oh, thank you. We'll see if they do anything to um, to make them better. We'll see if I, I forget if they said they're getting. I don't think they're getting a mod. Um, no, no. So yeah, this is uh, it's kind of like a wait and see if if pulses get better play. If they don't get better next season, yeah. I, the only reason Don. I keep it is to have a void pulse, and that's sure, it. Sure, sure. But then I already have this good crucible one, which can do a job in PVE too. Mm -hmm. okay for sojourner's tale this one is staying definitely okay. ridiculous gun uh Fine. kept that one for pve not sure okay. if it's a good one uh mm -hmm. this one was my original pvp role but then i switched to the moving target opening shot and i just like that more so this okay. one's gone so that sounds like easy delete rapid hit dragonfly for the memes that okay. can probably go <laughs> How, yeah, I was gonna say if you're not actively memeing, then that one can yeah. definitely go, and I'm I'm okay with sticking with the with those two. Okay, perfect. Uh, keeping the scout, use it all the time in Vogue. Very nice. Fine. Uh, don't know about found verdict uh, generally as a weapon. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's, it's again, weird. it just like you got good perks on it. like everything about the perk roll on that gun says like it's really good, but it's the fact that it's a shotgun. Yeah, and again, shotguns and high level content like we don't know where they fit right now. It seems like slugs are still kind of the strat um, when it comes to uh, any any sort of like oh, if you're still using shotguns yeah. to kill Templar or or Tanix, you know. 
I'm um, gonna I'm gonna lead this Vorpa one because I did want to make it work somehow in some situation I couldn't find something to make it work in. But I yeah. have, I'm gonna keep the slug shot one two punch thing because I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a very, very good in Gambit, and we're gonna be seeing Gambit rework in the next two seasons or so. That's totally fair. And I do think one two having a one two punch build is not the worst idea. I, I have one myself. I really like to do it. I think it's very, very fun. Mm. Um but useful, that's another story. Okay. Uh Crazy Sniper, keeping that one. Okay. Not the best hand cannon, but I love the way it feels, so I keep this. And sometimes I use this over the palindrome. Uh, right. This one is non-adept, and I have somebody or something already with that role. So, yeah, so that can stay. Why do I have two of the same weapon? Two of the same role. Let's make a choice. Okay, we have tunnel vision, kill clip, accurized, polygonal rifling or extended with stability and range. This one has potentially our head break, doesn't need it. Corkscrew, Alloy, Tunnel Vision, Kill Clip with double range, basically. So this one is double range. This is the more balanced roll, though. All right. I am going to have to hit you with the Sophie's Choice. What's Sophie's Choice? If you didn't choice? do it already. What's Sophie's Choice? Oh, you choice? have to kill one of your children. I yeah, have to so kill... So which one oh. is going? Ah, oh, shit. I like this. I've used this. I like it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Sure, not the most optimal role. Works for me. Bye bye, child number two. Oh, that was painful. Oh, didn't you'll know. forget that you had it. It's true. It's true. Oh, that was really painful. By next week, probably. <laughs> uh, okay, then I probably don't need any of these though because I think I kept them because they looked interesting, but I never ended up using them, so they're gone. Uh, All right. This one's locked. That can go. Okay, really good fun in PvP. Dragonfly does nothing, but it's still fun. I was going to say, what, what, what are you getting a Dragonfly? But, nah. what, you got 250 kills on it? Yeah. Clearly you like something about it. I'm not going to argue. Yeah. Then add Clown Cartridge Vorpal, which mm. could be interesting for PvE. Nice shot. Yeah, I'll keep that, 100%. Okay. A uh, couple of SMGs. Again, both of them not great, I'm going to be honest. Um, surrounded I'll keep the first one, ditch the second one. Yeah. Yeah, and this is so mainly you have a um, you have a solar SMG for yes. next season. Yes, hundred um, percent. Okay, couple of empty vessels. This one I thought was disgusting. Mm -hmm. This seems really good, uh, um, especially against solar uh, enemies. It is, but kind of go back to my disruption break conversation yes, yes that's it's right. good in a place that has a lot of solar shields hmm. but how many gm nightfalls are you really shield. facing a ton of solar shields if you're facing a ton they're most likely going to be on shanks sure. and if you kill a solar shield on a shank if there's any other shanks nearby they will all chain and they will all kill each other no matter what which means you're getting no effect out of disruption break whatsoever right okay um all right so this one so this one's a maybe then um it's it's a maybe it's just like it relies on a lot of factors lining up and then it also relies on like that still also being the best choice for a special weapon sure. in a particular season um where i think something like auto loading vorpal is a bit more reliable uh, in terms of like general use, like you're always going to be able to use it against a champion. Yeah. It's got spike grenades, so you can hit direct targets. It's good against bosses. It's right. got auto loading, so you never have to worry about reloading it. Um, and then so, we, yeah, have, it, we have a third one though. Okay. Blinding All ambitious. Right, so that one's swashbuckler. So the reason I'm iffy here is because we have two conflicting play styles right one of them says i want to murder everything with ambitious assassin and swash hmm. and then the other one says i just want to blind stuff to protect my friends which means i'm not guaranteed to be killing things right that being said i would probably take that one over the um the genesis uh disruption break one just because the amount of times you're going to be killing solar shields right and still having a target alive and having disruption break be a huge game changer in killing right. that enemy is just so so situational yeah 100 percent. and if i wanted disruption break i already have that truth teller that that was doing absolute work with 
and it's auto loading holster too. So mm-hmm. if I wanted to load into that, and again, it's a very PvP thing, I've got that option. So I don't necessarily need another GL with that option. Do I, I do I need the auto loading Vorpal for any reason? I mean, this season, no, but could be for the future. Okay, it could be. This could be a season sixteen play. I think we're too close to season sixteen for me to be like, eh, yeah, like yeah. get rid of it. Okay. If we, if we just started. Now I'd say, you know, once we kind of analyze everything, if there's no GL mods or sure. GLs are just not the meta, I could be like, I could see you getting rid of it, but it's also still a very good role to have around. Okay. We're at 415, so we need 15. I think this is going to be pretty easy. <laughs> Holy a shit. lot of dudes. <laughs> Holy crap. I had not seen this page before. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine here. Okay, um, so let's start with these. Well, let's start with this number. Not a good weapon. Why? D- yeah. Okay. Done. Um, Fun fact: I've never seen a good the number in any vault that I've really done this really? with. And everyone has. It's like a rite of passage. Like everyone needs to have a completely garbage roll the number in their vault. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like a fake vault. Because you never know, right? Because it's like uh, it's arc. It's it's interesting. It was we didn't know what was what, and then Shadow Price comes out and completely uh, makes it obsolete. So we completely f- forgot about it. And okay. you also have eight arc autos on the third row alone. That's true. That's true. We, we will get to this. I think there was a reasoning behind each single one of them, and all of them are going to yeah. be very flimsy. But the vision, I want to keep maybe one of these because this is the most lethal sidearm archetype in the game for PvP, the Armalon Adaptive. Okay. Uh, killing one kill clip is probably the one that sticks out the most to me so far. Uh, I do like that this is stability masterwork because, well, you can never have too much stability. This one is a full auto. I'm not really a full auto kind of guy. Grave robber kill clip, again, a bit weird for PvP. And then full auto swash. So I think between these four, there's only one winner. It's kill, killing win kill clip. So that's three. My thoughts exactly. Three down immediately. Um, I'm also going to get rid of stochastic variable because it's not very good. Unless totally we, with you there. If we need an arc SMG, we have the Iclos. So that's gone too. Um, Pleiades corrector. I'm. You not- said you love. You said you love your uh, vision of confluence, right? Yeah. I'm gonna and be this real. This thing's basically close enough, right? I'm gonna be real with you. Don't know why I kept this. Ne- okay. Either of them. Done. One. I'd get two. rid of both. Uh, the deicide. I thought these were interesting weapons. I think mm-hmm. lead from gold one two punch is very good for gambit in particular. Um, for, yep, for sure. Dual loader volatile weapon. See, this is this is where it falls apart. Is because unless you have a very specific use case in mind, rapid fire frames just aren't the biscuits, really. R- right. Yeah. So both again, of- I just again for the fifth time this session, I just <laughs> don't know what to think about shotguns yeah. and high level PVE. I just really don't. No worries. Because everything to me says like they're pointless. Like you don't need them. Yeah. Um, same with this compass. I think the only reason I kept the compass is because this is the only role that was semi viable, but mm-hmm. not not really attached to it. Okay. Then we have a cup. We have Io to Draconis, which try this out it was pretty garbage. Then we have two Wolf Tone draws, Archer's Tempo okay. Cornered, and Archer's Tempo Adagio, which kind of cancels okay. each other out. Yeah. Um, you also have that point of the stag, which I think is just a very, very reliable bow. Mm. So I think there's there's got to be something that really is super enticing to you on, on both of these to, to warrant keep. Like, what does Corner do? Corner is being surrounded, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's another surrounded base perk with a bow. Yeah. Bows are not fast killers. They're accurate, high damage killers, right. but they're not fast. Right. So I could switch this to Harmony, and that would make more sense. Um, but again, like, it is conditional, too, to make it work, and you want something that's more consistent. It's something you can have yeah. up all the time. So bows, I'm, I'm definitely looking for consistency. Okay, I'm not so, looking to get fancy with bows in a GM. True. Okay, so both of these are going. Done. Um, I, I don't think there'd be anything wrong with getting rid of both. Okay. Uh, Ka- Ooh, okay, we got a few Chris Romellos here. Fourth times mm-hmm. the charm, demolitionist, heating up frenzy, DSR multi kill clip, and heating up frenzy. Two heating up frenzies. One of these has to go. All right. That one's Pick gone. One Arrowhead. This one does not have Arrowhead, so this one's gone. Okay, so between the three of these. Um, 
Like I'm not using these in PvP at all. Like there's no there's no point to using them. Okay. Then I think that third one could probably go. Okay. And then Hmm. Uh this is a try it out next season, see which see which one you like more. I'm leaning just towards frenzy because it's so much easier sure. to just have a set and forget perk okay. than it is like demolitionist and like trying to remember like, oh yeah, I can reload the gun if I use my grenade, but then there's no good time to use my grenade right now or I don't have it up right now and just heating up frenzy, you don't really need to think. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a spray and play. Yeah. So yeah, if you wanted to hold both and, and see which one you like more. Again, and also four times a charm. I know it's a very slow firing auto rifle, but um you still need to be able to consistently hit four crits in a row a lot. And yeah. that can be tough. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the eight auto rifles. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Okay. <laughs> all right. All of them crucible, all of them mildly interesting. Four times the charm demolitionist seems to be a running theme with my auto rifle selections here. I love that combo for whatever reason. Killing mm -hmm. when rampage is not the worst combination for a 600 RPM auto. Uh, heating up rampage is a fantastic combination for a 600 RPM auto. Just becomes mm -hmm. a laser. Uh, subsistence rampage I kept for PVE. Um, okay. Heating up elemental capacitor. I kept this when Kami was raving about elemental capacitor on everything. So I think that was just in my the back of my head so okay try something out with this never did uh heating up harmony uh i think this was because dylan liked it at some point so i was like okay maybe try that out um outlaw demolitionist then tunnel vision multi-kill clip which i'm not like like tunnel vision is great for pvp and this is very synergistic but it's it's it's, it's weird in in pvp for a 600 in my opinion yeah um, we need to get rid of at least five of these. <laughs> yeah, we do. At least five. So four times Zemo can go, definitely. If this is a PvP-focused selection, then absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'd like to keep one for... Like, I think Subsistence Rampage seems like the most obvious candidate for PvE. Yeah, yeah. Uh, heating up Rampage is for PvP. Killing one Rampage... See, there's no point having... Heating up and killing when rampage. It doesn't make any sense. So both of these can go. One, two. That's two down. Okay. Uh, we keep subsistence. Heating up elemental capacitor could be interesting for fast dueling for 3v3 game modes. If you're spraying and praying to the point where you're unloading 41 bullets and not killing anything or killing everything, then... You s like you're both in trouble. <laughs> yeah, probably. You're both in trouble. So I don't know. That's very situational. We'll come back to this one. Heating up harmony doesn't seem particularly good. What's your what's your thoughts on harmony generally? Um, I'm not super crazy about it because I think it kind of potentially forces people to to switch weapons when they maybe don't want to. Mm -hmm. Like they get too caught up in making sure that they want to use harmony, right? And that's why I'm not like um like there's a very there's a lot of very high powered builds out there. But they demand so much of you as a player to make sure that they stay active. But at the same time, the payout for doing all that work to actually keep them active is not there because 99% of enemies just fall over anyway. That's true. That's true. Um, all right. So that one's gone then. So, yeah. So, like, anything that forces a player to have to do something in a particular way, otherwise they're really not maximizing their build and instead is just, like, stressing them out, I don't like that. Like... The game should be about having fun in, in lower level content. And if you're not doing that and you're set instead stressing of like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't use this proc and oh, I'm yeah. wasting it. It's not worth it. Just like don't, like, don't do that to yourself. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Um, then I'm getting rid of this one. I'm getting rid of heating, heating up an elemental capacity. I just, the more I was thinking about it, the less I've found situations that made sense for it both. Um, okay. I'm going to keep Tunnel Vision Kill Clip because this might be the best role you can get for the playstyle you want to create with this. Our head would make okay. it the vertical really good. If you didn't want to max out for whatever reason, you also have Chamber Compensator, which does the same thing, but less. Accurize Rounds, Tunnel Vision, Multi Kill Clip, Reload Masterwork. That's huge. So that can stay just because it's a really good like synergy of everything. Um, now, between these two for PvE, 
E, subsistence rampage or outlaw demolitionist? Which one would mm -hmm. you go for? Uh, I'm more inclined to just take straight up damage perks. Okay. Um, demolitionist is good, but if if dares of eternity is anything to go by, it's um, me personally. I do not spam my abilities often enough compared to how often I get the cooldowns back. Sure. Because again, just things just die. Yeah. They just die so fast. They do. And so in like average level content. Like, you got to be so focused on making sure you're using your grenade a lot. Otherwise, this is going to be a waste. Hmm. And um, so that's why I'm much more inclined to just take the damage perks. It's like, I don't have to work. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to yeah. think about it. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Um, Done. Subsistence Rampage is just easier on everybody because you just you shoot the gun and it keeps shooting and it keeps dealing more damage. And that's great. That's what you want. Yep. All right. Then it's gone. So now we're, we went down from eight to three. Pretty cool. Good. I'm I'm happy with that. I will keep the heating up rampage because again, it's just a very very good roll. Um, Zen moment sidearm gone. I think I only kept that one around because I didn't have a swift verdict. So mm -hmm. another arc aggressive slide shot one two punch, and then threat detector frenzy. See, I, I think both of these can go because found verdict is already a better roll than this one, and it's the same archetype, so it's. So it doesn't need to stay. And then yep. threat, threat Detective Frenzy, again, the age-old question, shotgun, PvE, why? So yeah, I mean, I, at least they mesh, but yeah, it's yeah. We, we really need a good situation for shotguns for them to really start shining. Long Walk, this is the best roll I ever got with it. Haven't really got a better roll since, so that's why I kept it. Is that good? That's right. not really a good reason, but still... Now, no, it's not at all, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think between these three, Lincoln Greens, I'm probably not going to use either, any of them. But if I wanted to use one for whatever reason, it'd probably be Rangefinder Adrenaline Junkie, because that's High Cal and Arrowhead Break and Range. So I think these two can go pretty easy. Then we have a couple of Widow's Bites. Oh, sorry, Contingency Plans. Sorry, they look the same to mm -hmm. me. Uh, this, like, neither of them are super great, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the, the, neither of them are, like, really standing out, but I do think it's a good idea to keep at least one of them. I'd probably go No Distractions Frenzy, yeah. frenzy for PvE purposes. Yeah. Um, PvP. People really like 260 RPMs, uh, yeah. and it's we're going to have scouts next season in some capacity, sure. so. Yeah, and I'm sure I'll get one when I'm turning in my gunsmith mats, so this can yeah. go. All right, a couple of uh, hand cannons here. Probably keep the annual skate with Outlaw multi-kill clip. Delete the one with triple tap time payload. Like you said, right. it's just a flinch monster for overloads, and I don't have a problem with that. That's gone. Uh, this can go. Don't know why I kept that. That's I was going to say, that, that seems like it can go. Uh, then a couple of things here. Eye of the Storm is good. Yeah, this can stay. That's a very good roll for PvP. This one, not so much, so this one can go. And then we have Feeding Frenzy Harmony. Again, not a great yeah, I'm not, I'm not wild about it. Okay. Well, we're at 385. We started at 496. How's that? I'll take it. I'll take it, I too. I do got to get going. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. I, I think we definitely hit our goal. And again, with armor, armor, it's just a situation of... Make some builds, like go into dim if you don't already have builds. I imagine you do, but in, just in case you don't, yeah. Put some of that armor to use. Make a couple of builds per character, then maybe keep, you know, a set of armor that isn't assigned to anything per class, just as kind of like a flex option, and sure. then ditch the rest. Everything else, goodbye. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for for taking the time to do this. I I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, dude. No problem. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> End recording. <laughs>